But I want to tell you something. It's a promise for us today. Has God promised revival? Yes, he has. Where? Right here. Right here. If we've honored him at the cross, if we've honored him at the throne, says Jesus, out of his innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers, rivers of living water. Of living water. That's a promise. I wonder how many of us are prepared to believe that promise right now. You know, we're a jolly lot of hypocrites. We insist on following through the Roman road, the way of salvation with a sinner, and say, this is what God says. Now, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Let's trust God's promise. And as we trust God's promise, he will fulfill it. And then Paul picks up his pen and writes to a church he'd never visited and says, he says, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, how did you do that? By faith. So walk in him. How is it we believed in the past, but we won't believe now? Can I say that possibly one of the greatest hindrances to revival right in this room this morning is our unbelief? Oh, it's wonderful. We can all pray. We can all use the jargon. But are we believing God? Are we really believing God? Are we really believing God? Let him thirst, let him come, believing the promise of God. And then says, let him drink. Let him drink. That's appropriation. That's receiving the power of Christ, the plenitude of Christ, whatever word you want to put in there. Because all the sufficiency we need for revival is in him. Is in him.